Hello there people, this is Christian. Welcome back to my computer and Fusion for 60. And this little expanding mechanism, I have not really turned on all the joints. I can even turn on more joints. Uh, this is a mess of joints. You can see there are also joints you can hear uh, making this work. I wanted to make a functioning model to see if I done things correctly so I can move this around. Uh, I can't animate it, it becomes very unstable sometimes. But anyway, uh, we're going to talk about how I designed this shape here and here is what we're going to make you can see there are less joints i will not make all the joints we will make one of this pair of components that's inside one component but when it's patterned around and that's the easy way to do it you can see we have a top component with three holes and we have a bottom component with uh, the little uh, pegs on basically so to avoid problems now i'm going to turn off component drag nice feature but it can confuse us i'm gonna hide that i don't want to save it i'm gonna back to my empty here which is a save file but there's nothing in it you're gonna start our design step one create a new component we need to use component this because we have multiple uh, parts link a pair so we're gonna make two links within this you can see it let's go back we can see there are only two links and i just pattern around so we have our new component here it gets activated we're going to create a sketch let's do it from the top start with a circle c construction circle and this is going to be a diameter when uh, the design expanded i'm going to do it 400 millimeters a little bit slightly to the side i need some lines i'm going to do a line from here from the center point to the circle one line across i'm using so i get the horizontal constraint i don't need to add it by hand down here and one up the middle so it's this is like one segment or here's going to be two links one left and one right or one top and one bottom so this width of this angle here should be 360 degrees divided by desired amount of links and in the other files i have here i done 10 so the fun i'm going to do 12 sorry get into the box 12 like that and i need to do some more things i want to break this line in the middle because i want this split we can draw this two line but we're going to use the break feature it has the necessary constraints and perpendicular stuff so we still have a fully defined sketch gonna add a line here a line here and use for equal constraint between the line we broke and this and this we are now fully defined guess this is the base geometry you need now i'm just going to show you how i played around with the geometry using the scotch sketch sorry sketch solver i made a triangle here and then i made the same triangle a bit further down just sketching another triangle going to use the equal constraint equal constraint fusion sometimes it be, can be become a bit confused these two are going to be equal it's going to be equal to that one does it understand it thank you and these two should be equal so what i've created now i have reproduced the triangle that is in this position on the top as far out as possible from the center point and this was how i first played around with the argument you see so this triangle is the same size as this and you can see that this point follows this line from the center, but this point here follows this line from the center, and this point here follows this line from the center. So this is a, a symmetric design. You can do this as asymmetric, I think. I haven't played around with that, so I just want to show you how I play around to find the geometry. You want to do something with this. So, oops, sorry, I'm going to hit one so you can do a window select i'm going to select all of this triangle and delete it and also remove this line so we are back to only the things we started with so this is the base geometry so i'm going to finish that sketch i want i don't want more things in this sketch it just gets messy and i will geometry rename it into geometry so that is uh, our base geometry now we start sketches for our different parts we're going to create a new sketch same plane and we will hit p for project i'm going to make the ones that goes in from this point to the center point and then down here hit ok hide our first sketch 
start by this is going to be the top link so it's going to have three holes so i make the three holes select all of them make them equal i will not add a dimension right now but we first make the little arc slot slot three point arc slot select start point end point here's the one thing that can be a bit confusing i will now select the point here and now we need to add some width to the slot like that but you can see the arc here is not fully defined it's like brown orange i want to turn it black so we're going to do a the thing is it doesn't get constrained to this point i select the point but it doesn't constrain i don't know why so i make a coincident select the arc and select this point and i now want to add a dimension to the width of a slot or the diameter of the end of it and i want to make it 12 millimeters like that move the dimension to a reasonable place and now i can dimension the circles these three circles are going to be holes so i want those to be from this dimension and minus four that means there's going to be two millimeters material left over here we can choose whatever dimension you want i will finish sketch i will look at my little beautiful sketch and hit e on the keyboard for extrude now very important you can do this in two steps create the body then convert the body into a component or directly in the extrude you have to do it when you start the new extrude command you can't edit an all extrude command and totally turn it into operation new component it will not work so we tell turn operation new component and select our profile and our distance we're going to do it upwards because this is the top link so we're going to do it four millimeters hit ok wait for fusion to think and now we're going to rename our things so we name the sketch to uh, link top big s rename our component link top makes it easy to find things in a short while so by that i don't want to reference the component i prefer to reference my sketches so i'm going to turn on both sketches looking from the top create a new sketch on the same plane so now we want to make the uh, link that goes the other way around so we do p for project project in the three dots and oh sorry p i need one more thing i like to project in the circle this means i don't need to pick i could pick up dimension we can do some different ways to do things here hide the two first sketches uh we can do the circles here as we are playing around the three circles they all window selects should be equal i can now create the slot where are you three point arc slot select the start point select the end point i don't care about the midpoint i'm just going to make it like this and now add the coincident constraint between this one and here and now i need to dimension the width of this we know it's 12 but i'd like to use the dimension from the earlier sketch so what i can do change parameters you find on the modify i moved it up to the toolbar uh let's see if that's in a link pair there's one it was a sketches link top sketch and that is for 12 millimeters it's named d3 so i hit d dimension it's a radius i need to change it with the diameter dimension and the name was d3 and by that we are driving this the dimension of the width of this slot from the previous sketch finish sketch uh do we need to have a face yes we're going to do extrude now like earlier create new component and i want to drive extrude thickness thickness in both directions from the extrude i did earlier creating the previous link so once again let's check in our parameters link top have a look at our extrude and there's four millimeter and there's d5 so i'm going to do extrude i'm going to select uh, all the profiles and do it minus d5 because this is the bottom one if i look here you can see it's gonna end build end up below the other component gonna hide that and don't forget here now i'm gonna switch over to you forget it you can just do convert com body to component but i'm gonna do a new component here the thing is when i create a new component for extrude it doesn't change the active uh, component so now i'm going to into this new component hit e for extrude because i want to create these three pegs and the distance is going to be d5 once again join yes and now we can start naming things 
uh, rename uh, link bottom s for sketch rename link bottom like that we can turn on our first we're now going to move down so we get make the link pair the component for that not the root level the link pair the active component so we can see both parts hide the sketch for more visibility and i'm going to do assemble as a build joint make sure the joint type is revolute there are some different versions it could be rigid if you just want to keep things together so i'm going to select the two components and it wants to know the snap point, which is, of course, the center point here. And Fusion will do a small animation. We hit OK. So we now have a joint that is placed within this component. So we can go back to the root level. Hit S on the keyboard and find circular pattern. Circular pattern of object type going to be component. We select, select our link pair so we get both of them axis is going to be the blue set axis and of course i've made previous is 12. Uh, we decided that earlier so 12 is okay hit okay and we have as you can see because we place the joint within this uh, sub assembly part of the assembly when you name it i don't for always forget what it's called this joint gets pat around between those these two so if I activate component drag, we can see that we have our components here, two and two and two, two. They are not linked together. So we need, if you want to do that, you can place the joints between everything here, do some motion links. It's quite hard to get these many uh, joints to work together. You need some motion links to help Fusion solve the movement of the uh, joints. But anyway, you have a basic shape in here. Now you can uh, go in and uh, like if you want to, these are now the same dimensions. So you might you want to do some offset phase so you can do it in the sketch, extend it. I, I would most probably try to expand, extend this upwards and add some type of locking tap or something. I haven't decided what I'm going to do. I'm planning to take this and now make it 3D printable so I can play around with it. Or you can make a hole straight through and do some type of uh, bolt and nut and washer or something or screw or something like that any way you want. But this is the basic geometry, how I created this expanding mechanism. And I hope it can be useful for somebody. So I hope to see you around. Take care and goodbye.